Emotions are at an all-time high here in Bucks County, PA, as police from several different local townships and state police continue to search for four young men, all from Bucks County, who have not been seen or heard from since last week. The families are all together at a staging area that the police have near where they're searching for these young men. They are anxious and praying that police come back with good news. And as you can imagine, the families told me right now they are not up for speaking. Now I'm out here along Aquatong Road in Salisbury Township, PA, where police searched all day Sunday, then came back out early Monday morning. There are several different departments working both on the ground as well as a helicopter up in the sky circling this area. It's been out here for most of the day. I actually saw police walking with a few of the family members on the premise which they're searching. And it's said that they are looking into possibly what many say in this area is an old historical home. Police are looking for 19-year-old Jimmy Tar Patrick of Newtown, PA, 19-year-old Dean Finacaro of Middletown Township, PA, 21-year-old Tom Mayo of Plumstead, PA, and 22-year-old Mark Sturges of Pensburg, PA. Patrick was last seen Wednesday and the other three were last seen Friday. Mark's parents say that their son's car was found abandoned and Peddler's Village Shopping Center, which is near where police are searching. But Bucks County District Attorney would not comment on that or why they are searching the premise along Aquatong Road. I can tell you for sure that uh, this investigation, of course, is a priority for us and for every agency involved. And we've been working round the clock on it, will not rest until we know exactly what happened. Now, the district attorney's office does believe that somehow these young men do know each other but aren't sure as to exactly how at this point. The, the question was, do these four young men know each other? We have information that they know each other. We are still trying to run that down and ascertain whether that is accurate or not. Now, Bill, because this is an ongoing and sensitive investigation, police and those from the district attorney's office aren't giving too many details at this point, but they say they are working hard and around the clock with all these different agencies to get to the bottom of this mystery. The district attorney said in his afternoon press conference that they now do believe foul play was involved. Thank you, Ashley. Guys, we're now joined by former retired NYPD detective Joe Jackalone. Joe, how you doing? Good, Bill. How are you? So, you know the story. At this point, cops are not saying there's necessarily a relationship between all four. What's your take on that? I mean, is could any part of this be unrelated in your experience? Yeah, no, I mean, this is, cops don't believe in coincidences, and, and this is something where you're going to have to piece this together. And it's going to be things such as internet records, phone records, you know, the text messages, social media posts. I mean, the cell phones are going to play a big role in this. And just remember, one of the cars was found in a parking lot where uh, video surveillance could be uh, could be had. So this is something that could be playing out as we speak. Joe, where's the first place that law enforcement goes in a case like this? Well, probably initially they just took the reports because, of, you know, the, the fact that the age, they were over, you know, 18 years old. And they probably, you know, they said, ah, they're probably just hanging out somewhere. But when they started getting the other cases in there, I think they started putting pieces of this together. And then the search continued. And I'll tell you, some great police work. They found that car in an abandoned house in a, in a garage. I mean, that was amazing all in itself. At this point... Is everybody considered a suspect to be involved? Well, I don't think the parents are going to have anything to do with this, but you know what? We're, we're victimized by uh, somebody we know very closely to us, so friends might play a big part in this. So they have to, the cops have to be careful about you know, what they say and how much they know and how much they lead on. All right, thanks, Joe. Stay with us on this. We'll uh, check back in as we know more. A major update in the case of the four missing men in Bucks County. Police announced late Monday they arrested 20 year old Cosmo DiNardo on a charge unrelated to the case. He has the same last name as the owners of the properties police were searching along Aquatong Road. However, DiNardo was arrested at one of the locations police were searching in Ben Salem. Apparently, DiNardo was friends with one of the missing teens on Facebook. 